In this video, I'm going to show you how to access IP cameras over the network. The first camera I'll be demonstrating requires ActiveX controls, and you have to use Internet Explorer to access it because it's going to download ActiveX controls. So here I'm going to have the IP camera IP address typed in into my address bar, and I'm using IE11. You have to have Windows 10, and you have to be using IE, of course. So I'm going to type in the password for the camera. It's going to ask me to change it. I'm going to ignore that. And then when I try to log in, it says I have to download this plugin. I'm going to click on that. And I can save this plugin and run it later. So I'm going to save as and save it into my download directory. The reason I'm doing that is some customers may want to just keep this plugin for later or install it as administrator on other people's computers. Or if you happen to be um, the gentleman that we're making this video for, this is how you download the ActiveX plugin. It's pretty simple. Uh, then once you have that, you can run it. I'm just going to run it from here. So now I could just log into the camera uh, by running this plugin or going to open folder and running the plugin there. But before I do that, let me just show you what the camera looks like if you were to open up a, in, the camera in Chrome. So I have it logged in here, cancel, S same thing, um, asks me to install the plugin. Now, let's see what happens when you change. Uh, when you install the plugin and what changes you see there. By the way, in Chrome, without even the plugin, I can go in and access the camera and change its settings if I needed to. So let's go back. I'm going to close out of Chrome, go back here, run this plugin. It installs it, and I can see my camera. Big, beautiful picture of the sky right here. So you need this ActiveX plugin to be able to view the cameras. If you're using some third party Windows software, it may or may not help you. Your mileage may vary, but the, the way security cameras are supposed to be used, IP cameras, namely, it has to be used with either IE or another approved browser that's depending on the generation of the camera you have with that specific browser or with an NVR or with our smart uh, PSS viewing software. So I just showed you how to get into the camera and view it through Internet Explorer. And the same older generation camera here, I'm going to show you how to use it with uh, Chrome now after I install the plugin. And let's see if it makes any difference. And it doesn't because Chrome is not um, reading those ActiveX controls from the plugin that I just uh, downloaded and installed because um, that plugin is only for IE. And let's say you wanted to remove that plugin. Where do you find it? You go to your programs directory and you look for a folder called WebRec. I don't have it here. Let's go to program files. I have it right there. If I delete it, says, oh, you can't delete it because Internet Explorer is open. Make sure you close out of it. Try again. Give it a second or so and then attempt again. So you want to make sure you completely close out of IE. Otherwise, it won't let you. Seems like I am. Try it again one more time. Let's refresh first. Let's delete it again. Deleted the folder. It's gone. Now when I try to log back into the camera, it's going to say the same thing, that I need to download the plugin. Okay. Now let's say you just had the plugin and you wanted to install it yourself on your client computers. You can just do what I just did. Self-installs. Go back. Enter the IP address. Username, password. And you're able to watch that camera again. Okay. Uh, just make sure your uh, I'm at your remote desktop into this computer for demonstration purposes. Just make sure your viewport is uh, zoomed in correctly. But here, I've logged into the camera. Now, I'm going to show you how um, viewing a camera that is HTML5 approved works. It doesn't need ActiveX. So here's a different camera. It works on Chrome browsers, does not use ActiveX. And all you do is just log into the camera, and it works. It doesn't use any ActiveX. So it just sends out a video stream that's HTML5 compatible and works in a browser. So what I've just shown you is two different things. One, a camera that will work. Um, it's an older style, older firmware, uses ActiveX controls. And another camera that doesn't require IE anymore. And all you need to do is just log in using the web browser. Uh, I hope this, uh, you find this video useful, understanding the nuances uh, of how to access 
uh, IP cameras over the network using a web browser. Thanks for watching.